So we're back at uh, Roma Roma's. Pizzeria. Yes. <laughs> Wasn't planned to come here, but uh, yeah, we wanted to go to a food truck in town, but uh, it's closed. It's Easter Sunday, so uh, yeah, we thought we'd come back. We like it here. Food, food's good. Owners are nice. So uh, yeah. what do you order? So I'm here at General Motors and machine shop this morning uh, to get our prop shaft machine. So uh, yeah, let's go. So that's it set up on the lathe, ready to be uh, machined by this wonderful gentleman. Boss, what's your name? Alan. Okay, so Alan's the machinist this morning, so uh, I'm sure he's going to do a fantastic job. Yeah, Alan's having to make a few adjustments uh, because it's a four-jaw chuck. If it was a straight three jaw chuck, then uh, it would, well, more or less be pretty square. This is why I don't like using four jaw chucks. So what Alan's going to do here is, he's going to skim maybe just a couple of inches uh, along the shaft, and uh, we'll, sat, we'll check the stator ring for size before he continues the full length. Alan skimmed off enough. Uh, yeah, it's good, feels good. So he's just going to continue with that cut all the way up to the red tape. I've done a bit of machining myself over the years, but I must say this is the first time I've ever seen anyone polish a shaft using an angle grinder. But hey, it works. Excellent job, thank you very much mate. Now this is Tony guys, he's the owner of General Motors. Yeah. Huh? And uh, Tony, how long have you had this place? Uh, we transferred here last 2005. 2005. But I started my business since last uh, 1998. Wow, long time. 1998. Yeah. yeah. Well you run a good, uh, good show here, mm -hmm. uh, very impressive. And it's a busy, busy shop. I know. We started the business with no money. With no money, wow. <laughs> okay. And uh, no money, but look, you can see the place now. Absolutely crammed with good equipment. Uh, yeah. Very good. And most of your equipments come from Southeast Asia? Yeah. From China. Thailand, China. China, then uh, Korea, Korea, Japan. Okay. And India also. India as well? Yeah. Yeah, they produce some good equipment yeah. in India. Very good equipment. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for the machine job you did for me, Tony. Quality job. Mm. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Take care. You're welcome. This morning, I'm off here to Broadwater Marine, which is the uh, local chandlery shop here in town. And uh, yeah, I need to get a few bits and pieces. So uh, yeah, come on in. So here we have Finn the manager. <laughs> Hard at work. <laughs> Measure, measuring off lengths of rope for me. Finn, how long have you been here now? About three. Three years now? Yeah, yeah it must be, yeah. yeah. So if you're coming to Puerto and you need some uh, chandlery, this is the this is the place to come, Fern. Yeah, Broadwater yep. Marine. 
Well, it's an early start here on Chisamba. This morning we're planning on changing out the uh, old shaft seal for the new dry shaft seal, as they call it. So, uh, yeah, Randy's just removing uh, the old arrangement. And uh, fingers crossed, <laughs> we're against the tide this morning as well, so uh, time is of the essence. Right, so here's the new, the brand new, what's called a dry shaft seal, okay? As I said before, 450 US dollars for this. It's not cheap, very expensive bit of kit. Here we have a carbon face here, which has got a mirror finish on it. And what happens is, this will go over the stern tube, clamp onto the stern tube, we will then slide the stainless steel stator <clears throat> along the shaft until it mates with the face of this carbon seal, okay? And that's basically our seal, okay? Very delicate. You cannot afford to scratch this, even get a pubic hair on this because you're gonna damage it and uh, it won't seal properly, okay? Now, I've never put one of these on before, so, uh, but there's a first time for everything. As you can see, we've fitted the bellows piece, okay? So now we're gonna fit the stator onto the shaft. Now, before we do this, we've had to lubricate this with some washing up liquid. The manufacturer recommends you do not use any oils or grease of any kind uh, in case it damages the O-rings inside this stator. So they recommend basically uh, washing up liquid. So I've polished this up. It's nice and shiny. So I just need to put it onto the shaft now. Oh yeah, boy, that went on a bit too quick there. Okay. Hopefully it's not done any damage. Didn't want to do that. Nah, should be okay. Time will tell. Once the propeller shaft coupling was installed, it was now time to install the flexible <laughs> coupling between the gearbox and the prop shaft. Okay guys, in case you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm just following the manufacturer's guidelines on the installation of this dry shaft seal. Okay. And what they recommend is that once the stator, the stainless steel stator is pressed up against the carbon ring, okay? We then place a piece of tape here, okay? This is gonna be our marker point, and then we compress the bellows for this size shaft. They recommend that you compress it by 20 millimeter. Okay, so we will need to compress this bellows at least 20 millimeter, okay? Easier said than done, I think. <laughs> Okay guys, there we have it. Uh, that's the dry shaft seal uh, installed. Uh, we just need to put the vent hose on now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the red marker tape on there. That way it'll give me any, any indication uh, whether that bellows and seals backing off. So I'm just gonna leave that on. So once this uh, vent line has been connected, 
then it's a case of, uh, well, we're going to have to wait on the high tide just to make sure everything's sealed properly. And uh, then what we'll do is we'll do the engine alignment. So uh, all in all, pretty good. Quite happy with that. Just fingers crossed that it seals properly. So we are here at Balai Tuko. A friend of ours is having her birthday party and we got the Gossip Chirons. This is 2017 even. Birthday girl is here. Birthday girl here? Birthday girl. She's right there. Hi. Oh, this is a birthday girl. And this is our gift for you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, a big thank you to all our Patreons, subscribers. Without you guys, this video would not be possible. So a big, big thank you. Now, last week we had a small competition. And I asked the question, how much does Chisamba's engine weigh? Okay. So... Had a few close answers, uh, but the winner of last week's competition, once again, is uh, Colin from uh, Vietnam, who was the closest, and his answer was 275 kilos. The actual correct weight, as stated in the manual with the gearbox that we have, is in fact 292 kilo so well done Colin not far off mate congratulations okay so guys that basically just leaves me uh, to say stay safe out there eh? take care of each other and uh, see you all next week so uh, it's lunch <laughs>